What is up, YouTubers? John Zick here, and welcome back to the new Pokemon Snap game. And in the last video, we discovered the fifth um, aluminum Pokemon, which we thought was the last one. But there is a secret middle one that combines all of them together, or, you know, connects. There's a connection between all of them, and probably what made the aluminum Pokemon as they are over 2,000 years ago. Which, we are about to go to the island right now for the one last expedition. But here's the thing. We don't have aluminum orbs for that area at all. So I don't even know how this is really going to work. If we just have to go to aluminum spots or somehow activate them without aluminum orbs. Or maybe the aluminum or Or maybe all the aluminum orbs would work. I don't know. But yeah, we have one small little island left. Right here. Aurorus. These are just ruins. Okay, so maybe we don't actually get to the aluminum, because it doesn't say aluminum spot right now, so I guess this is just the last area, I guess. So we might uh, take some more pictures of some Pokemon, which is actually kind of handy, because I did say we wanted to get through and get um, more pictures of Pokemon. Ooh, Elder Gosses. Oh. Well, we got more of the other goss. More of them. A boulder. I feel like that's gonna be our way out of here. It's glowing too. That's gotta be something if it's glowing. Might be able to get the orbs right away, actually. Oh. Oh, that's the apple. <laughs> the apple's just fallen from existence. Eat it. No? Ooh, a Shizzleth. Hey, over here. Alright, that was pretty good. Shizzleth. Yay! Oh man. Okay, I got a forward picture. Ooh. Oh, I was about to yeet another one item. Yeet. Nice. More ruins. Heart stamps. Oh. I think that's what. Oh, Golar. Wishy wash. Or, that was the wishy washy. That's Meganium. That's one of the others. But this is. This has got to be like, the tr like a tree of life situation. Hey. No, oh, you just shook it off. Something tells me I have to come back with the aluminum orbs and light every single one of these. This was... I think this was Steelix right here. Oh, right, because they match the things. So that's wishy-washy. This is... Steelix. Hi. Um... Are you in my way? Up here, yeah, the Volcarona. Yeah, there. Hmm. 
Damn it, I didn't get the... I got a picture of it earlier. And over here is... The Milotic. Right, 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 right. And the sweet little Natu. That's adorable. Yeah, now we're just kind of going in a... Whoa, look at this! All the different orbs. Interesting. I definitely just gotta take a picture of it. Huh. Golurk's not letting me take a picture of the ruins. He's like, you're not allowed to see the ruins. BHM! BHM! Oh, where's the goal? No, I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna leave. Yeah, this is where it ties it all together. You even saw the crystal bloom, um, like all the different kinds of crystal bloom flowers in that one spot. That was actually quite interesting. I actually might save that photo because that's a very interesting discovery right there. Only seven Pokemon. So that brings me up to 160 then. <laughs> Uh, ooh, we have a lot. Wait, this one? Oh. Wait, that, no, I was trying to get the Crystal Bloom. I don't know if that actually really counted. How did this one not count? Is it too dark? Yeah, either way, I think that one's pretty good. Eldegoss. We only got little ones. These guys, these little shits were in the way. I guess we'll do that. BHM! Yeah. This one actually shows off a bit more. I like how it's just a four star to start off with not to. Alright, sandal it. Oh, the only three stars are the ones behind. I might go for the two star to start off at least. Oh, I figured this would be something. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <gasps> it counted. Yes, I knew it would. That the one facing away was a two star. I got the one that's one star at least. Because it also has BHM in it. I don't even know what changed from one to two stars in Golurks, especially since he's just kind of staying there. Actually, I think the one I took of two, I think that was uh, with his fist up. So if anything, I think I'm at 160. Ooh, nice platinum rank. But yeah. Well, we definitely got the uh, aluminum orb now. I also like the fact that I also had all the different um, aluminum uh, blossoms there. That's very interesting. Got an Atu. Nice. Silver. Sandalit. I thought this one was probably at least a better picture at most. Okay, Platinum Rank for him. That's what I thought would be a good picture. This has definitely got to be a good shot. It's big, it has a good pose. Direction's good. Yeah, that's right. Give that to me. And gold. Close. Close to platinum. And the crystal bloom. Didn't even have to go to nighttime. Nice. So now we should get the orbs, but... Are we going to be using the other orbs? That's the real question. Is there going to be a button to switch the orbs? Oh, we definitely have to go back there for sure. Dark Collector. Fire Collector. 
Crystal Bloom in your Pokedex, or Photodex. Assistant Detective, you, you used a scan function to analyze 60 research spots. Oh, nice. Yellow. Ooh, yes, yellow. Yellow's the last one because it's the best color. <laughs> yep, hope you're excited. Right, I wanted to save one of the photos, which was... Yeah, this one. Showing off, showing off all the uh, flowers. Or all the crystal blooms. I wonder if that what that means, like if I'm able to use all the all of them at some point or something, I don't know. That would be interesting. Especially you trying to light up every single one. I wonder how that would work. Or maybe if you throw the yellow one on there it will activate the others. Another set of amazing ruins. That's right, here's something uh interreg about them. They seem to include two distinct types of structures. What's different about them? If we compare the ruins at the entrance to what we saw deeper inside the cave, the cave part seems to have been built later and possibly in a hurry. There was a, definitely something weird about that area. Why were flowers from other islands in there? Yeah, you noticed that too. We can take that as evidence that energy from all throughout Lentennial is converged there. If we can untangle these mys mysteries, I'm sure we'll find the way forward. In the meantime, I finished work on the set of aluminum orbs. I'm sure they'll prove to be helpful. They will be. We're getting close to our goal. Thanks to all the research you three have been doing. Keep it up. Even though I seem to be the one doing all the work here. Gold. When you talk about gold, he said yellow. Okay. So going back to here, we only have the one area. Honestly, I feel like to move forward, I think I have to hit the aluminum orbs right to where, um... Because I know there were still like placements for everything there, so that's something as well. Oh man. Wait, here. Guess that's one way of being blocked off. Hey! <laughs> Oh, old man, I missed. Yay! 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 There we go. I said something. Let's just speed the process a bit. There's the one that's already glowing. Oh, hi, I didn't even see you there. Ooh, well, that one looks majestic. Ooh. Noivern! Come back! Well, that's interesting. That was a good shot right there. Oh man, close. Do it. Okay. Yay. Ooh, funny if I actually landed there. Come on. Got one.
Okay, I'm gonna focus more on this. So I already got the Meganium one. Okay. Got it. It's the one for Wishy Washy. Okay, I got the one for Steelix here. Okay, gotta be ready. Wait, where? Oh, right there! No! Got it! Okay, there's that one. I think there's just BEMs kind of just floating around now. No, get out of the way, you assholes! Got it! Okay, there's the whole corona. Oh, you ass! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! No, get out of the way! You ass! I did it! And then the funnel- oh, they activate that! I did it! I activated the whole tree. What's happening? Wait, am I going through the ruin? I'm going closer! Here we go! Let's do this. No! I don't want to leave. Hey, I got that whole area lit up in my uh, first run. So let's go. I, don't, I know there was Noivern in there, and I know I didn't get a good shot of him. Oh, that's a good shot. Eh, then I might as well try to go for... I mean, this one's a very good shot of a 1. I have to at least try to take it. Uh, okay. Uh, so I think this was better. My general opinion, uh, I'll always do that one. I know it wasn't the best. Threes. You. Shishalef. Oh man. The threes didn't count. The not good ones. Uh, we'll just go for the number two here. BEM? Nah, I don't think that I got a better one of BEM. Then we'll see. And yeah, the ones that have not too fallen off. I like how my first not too picture was literally, literally um, you know. <laughs> All right, one star, which was a gold. This one was platinum, better. Let's go. I thought that was a good pick of Elder Goss. We also got a new one, Noivern, so I think we're at 61 now. I think that was the only new Pokemon in that section, so...
Definitely still got a, quite a bit of Pokemon left to go, and that's a platinum rank right there. Zizzleff, another platinum work. I don't think this BEM's better. Nope. First one was better. And a new Natsu photo for the one position. This one could be better. No, not better, apparently. Okay. Now we got level 2 active. Maybe now we'll see more annoying burns. <laughs> Look at that, you hit a new stage of your level of research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. No matter how small. Elevator of Light. You discovered a path of light of the ruins of remembrance that lead above ground. You received a research titled Elevator of Light. Uh, let me guess. Hmm, progress report. Yeah, something very, very interesting. Alright, we're getting to the stretch point of the main story here. And after we're done with the main story, we'll try to fill up the rest of the decks. Okay. Looks like the moment we've been waiting for. If I'm reading the top graphic correctly, this ought to take you straight to the center of the ruins through the gate we saw at the beginning. <laughs> That's where we'll find the Pokemon that was in the middle of the other material, uh, Muriel, right? Right. After all this, we may finally get to meet it. And I think we all know you're the one to handle the, that moment. Yeah, yeah, of course you get all the fun. You better get some good photos. Say hi to the aluminum Pokemon for me. Sure thing, Rita. I can see your eyes that you're ready. That's the spirit. Good luck out there. Keep your chin up. Your camera ready. You got it. I will take pictures of the Celebi. <laughs> oh, yep, over here. Aluminum spot. I, li I like that uh, branching point where it's literally by the end. Alright, aluminum spot. I don't know how we're going to really get the uh, aluminum portion of Celebi, but we'll see. We'll see what we have to do. It's the top of the tree. Oh. Hello. Xerneas? Wait, I thought we were going to see Celebi. I mean, I get a Tree of Life and all, but... What about Celebi? Okay, I was not expecting Xerneas here. Uh, how am I going to activate him? Give me hints. I'm throwing everything I got. Just some nature, because why not? Oh, I see him. I'm literally using all my resources. Okay, aluminum orbs, got it. Get over here!
Bitch, get back here. Oh, you only get like a small... Where'd you go? Hello? I guess I gotta find it again. You, you're in the water. Not easy to aim this, you know. Damn it. There it is, the memorial. Ah, I missed the luminous spot. I mean, it kind of did, but I hit it at least before I left the area. Honestly, I was expecting to see Celebi. Why the hell did we see Celebi then? Because there are no Celebes in this game, I know that much. I thought it was going to be Celebi. I don't know, maybe there's more to the story. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it makes sense with the Tree of Life and all. Okay, nothing around. process a little bit. I don't see it anywhere. Oh hey, we're back at the beginning. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did get some pictures at most, so that's worth something at least. Hello? Oh, you're back. I had to. Just looked like an amazing shot with all five. And then Xerneas. Oh. And just becomes a tree again. Roger that. All right. So what's my best one of Xerneas? Oh yeah, obviously the first two weren't really special. Any twos? Oh, we got some twos here. Oh, these are the only twos I have. That one looks good. That one looks pretty good as well. I'm taking this one. Honestly. Alrighty. Let's have a look at this Xerneas right here. If 
5,344. Nice. Straight up to level 2, obviously. Another step forward to your research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting more comfortable with you. Brief Awakening. You registered the aluminum Pokemon Xerneas to your Pokedex. You snapped a total of 100 photos without a main subject. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, something. Uh, more info. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. Something to report right away. Let's go. I know there's Venusaur also I need to get as well. I knew it. You, We were right to believe there was another aluminum Pokemon. The mineral was spot on. Yes, which raises the question. Did things really happen the way the mineral displayed them? Maybe Xerneas called out to all those others for help. Maybe. So they could make a barrier or something to stop the meteorite. Huh. A barrier big enough to cover the whole Antennial region? Hmm, I don't know. That's gotta be what happened! That means the people who built the ruins long ago helped the Luminum Pokemon too. But the material came 2,000 years ago. Shouldn't Xerneas have awakened long before now? I think stopping the meteorite probably took just about everything it had. So much that it's still tired after 2,000 year nap. Hmm. When do you think that uh, mural was made anyways? Wait, what? And who do you think made it? I will... Good question. <laughs> Who did build it? Wait! Why is it you were able to meet the aluminum Pokemon? Was it my great ancestor? All Pokemon love me! That's why. <laughs> right on. Aw, look at that. I like how Starless is carrying it as well. And there it is, the main story. Wow. That was pretty insane. I actually have to say, this game was, uh, was definitely a lot of fun. Oh, at least my pictures that I took. <laughs> uh, let's just go back through memory lane. Oh yeah, that was a pretty good photo. Yeah, of that, um, floor just... But I definitely had a real fun time playing this game. It really was fun to take all those pictures. Like, honestly. I like how the... how I, I kind of like the aluminum Pokemon as it is. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of questioning with Wishy Washy and Milotic. Just because they're both water types, I mean... I don't know, I like to normally put things as like a lot of different typings as much, and... For the most part, it was, because there's Meganium as well, and then Volcarona. Oh, okay, it's doing it by area. But yeah, there was uh, Meganium, Volcarona as well, there was Steelix as well, aside from the other two water types, and then there was uh, Xerneas, who was a fairy type as well. Honestly, though, pretty cool. <laughs> I kind of also like that you had to do some specific things to actually get uh, pictures of the aluminum Pokemon. 
I, I thought that was a pretty uh, good idea uh, at the time as well. Oh god, <laughs> he's dead! He's dead! And yeah, and I know in this series I have been kind of quiet at times. Um, like I said, I've, done, like, I've literally done this like back to back. I think this is like the third day of my recording. And um, yeah. <laughs> There was also the times where people were home and I didn't want to be too loud, and also like when someone was asleep as well, so once again, couldn't be too loud. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely, I honestly, just with the Pokemon in general of who's in the game, I think I enjoyed the uh, roster that we've seen so far at least. I know there's still some that we haven't seen, like, the I think we're just about... 50 left or 55 at most I, w I would think that would be the case yeah 55 but yeah and then like all the different areas especially going back during the nighttime as well you know at some points this game kind of sometimes reminds me of uh, Sonic Unleashed where you you know you're practically around the same area but like you know you go during the nighttime and stuff as the werehog and stuff it kind of reminds me of that a little bit I mean obviously well, obviously you're not beating up, like, bad guys and whatnot, you're just taking photos of different Pokemon during the day and night and whatnot, but still. It was still pretty fun. I, I really enjoyed this game. I'm pretty, I'm glad I bought this. <laughs> I was questioning at first, was like, should I get the game? And obviously there's a lot of people playing it as well, which was like, oh, maybe it is a good game to play, who knows. But, uh, yeah, just just the way of uh, being able to... All the different tactics as well for being able to have the Luminum Pokemon appear and what you have to do to take pictures of them as well. I mean, Meganium was kind of simple. You just had to throw the uh, Luminum Orbs, I think at least to the plant areas, and then, you know, Meganium would glow. Um, who was next on the list? It was Milotic. And we had to, like, wait until Milotic got above water to actually take the picture because, obviously, when you throw it above land and onto the water, it doesn't work that way. That was a good shot of Flygon right there. So there was that. And then with the Volcaronas, um, you had to hit the apples on them a couple times and then their flame went away. Then you can throw the aluminum orb at them and then they would react to it. So that was pretty cool. Um... Uh, Wishy-Washy was definitely clever, especially, like, with its ability, um, school in normally, where, uh, normally, um, at least if you're, like, level 20 or something, if you had, like, your one Wishy-Washy, then all, like, a bunch of other Wishy-Washies would combine into the school form, which is practically what it is, which is, like, a school of fishes, uh, which I thought it was clever where you had to throw aluminum orbs on the single Wishy-Washies, and then you'd be able to start taking pictures of the school wishy-washy, which was the main Luminum Pokemon. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look at that. And then uh, with Steelix, I thought that was an alright one. I know I didn't really get any good pictures on that one, but it was hard to get to as well, which, you know. Honestly, still was a pretty good, uh, pretty good um, experience there as well with uh, throwing them into the caves and whatnot, and then having to throw the Luminum Partians. I have to say he... Steelix does go a little too fast, like I can't really get like a good face shot of him. <laughs> and then with Xerneas, just the last bit, like he's just an orb flying around and you then you just throw aluminum orb at the orb a couple times and then boom, he appears. Which I thought was pretty cool. Honestly, I really thought it was going to be Celebi, I guess that's something that we'll still have to look into as well. Because I know Celebi's in this game, I know that much. Uh, for, like, from the trailers and whatnot. I know Celebi's in the game. I was just not expecting Xerneas. I mean, I was, like, suspecting as much a little bit, but, like, I was still believing it was more of Celebi just because of what I saw. But, like, it does make sense with how Xerneas was, like, the main of everyone, especially, like, around the tree area and how the aluminum Pokemon energy going into the tree was, like, the tree of life sort of thing. I was mentioning it earlier it was the tree of life. Yeah, that's my best pick of Steelix right there. <laughs> but like, as I was saying, oh, it's the Tree of Life! Yeah, that's the Tree of Life right there. Which, honestly, if you guys don't know, he's practically a Tree of Life. That's practically what he's marked as, so... I guess it makes sense in a way that Xerneas would be the main Luminum Pokemon, and then he asks the others for help and whatnot. 
Honestly, all together as the Luminum Pokemon together, I think they're a good squad, like a good uh, six Pokemon team. Which you can honestly just put them in a team, like a regular Pokemon team in general. I think more on Pokemon Sun and Moon probably, um, because I think you can actually put all of them into the game. Because I don't think there was a um, Galar Luminum Pokemon at all. No, because, uh, well, yeah, there's Xerneas. Because Meganey was Gen 2. Milotic was Gen 3. Wishiwashi was, um... Oh, look at that. That's nice. Wishiwashi was Gen 7. Thank you, everyone. Volcarona was Gen 5. <laughs> uh, Steelix is then Gen 2 and then Gen 6. So, yeah, you could probably put that in a Sun and Moon team, at least. Like, put all those Pokemon together and whatnot. This has been a, one eventful uh, survey, huh? It sure was. One that took us a ver to every corner of Flintenio. None of, a, none of it would have happened without the you three... Uh, without the three of you. I can't thank you enough for all your hard work. You found even more topics uh, begging to be studied. Well, I'm sticking around to help. I was hoping you would. And I'm sure your research is getting started. Speaking of which, weren't you going to explain our new idea, Professor? I ah, yes, I was. Let me tell you about course scores. They're a system I uh, devised to measure how thoroughly you can research a course in a single outing. Okay. Uh, quality counts here, but so does quantity. Try to photograph as many Pokemon as you can. If you use the online internet feature, you can see your ranking uh, your, for your score scores too. I think I saw something about that online, that there was like a world ranking, like photographers or whatnot. And wasn't there one more piece of good news? Yeah. Yay. Uh, you must mean burst mode? That's a new feature I had the professor add to your research cameras. If you turn it on, your camera will take multiple photos and... Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, one press of a shelter. You can also turn on and off from the settings menu. Give it a shout. It should come in handy. Man, professor, you're almost as cool as my mentor. Wait a second, I'm going all on an expedition. Now, go on and get back building your personal photo dex X. Enjoy. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read sentences well sometimes. Oh, more stuff. What's up? I gotta end the episode. We're already like 43 minutes in. I have to literally just put these two in my um, laptop to at least get some more room and whatnot. Okay, so what's the good news you were talking about? Oh, I bet you're inching to know. You're the one who brought it up. Okay, fair point. Anyways, I got the professor to let us check out the reef during the evening. Oh, so now we get to check out the reef evening. That's nice. <laughs> right? I can't wait to see the sunset over the reef. It's gonna be breathtaking. Yeah, that'll make for some sweet photos. I call first tip, trip. Hey, no fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand research team. You researched all areas in the region. Okay, so there's no new area. <laughs> Grand research team. Pixelated. Okay, well, that's all interesting and well. Okay. There is still the question on where Selby is and how you can get there. I'm sure I'll figure out eventually, but, um, yeah. I'm probably going to stop recording anyways, even though I've already done two episodes as it is. This one kind of almost counts for two episodes almost because we're already 45 minutes in didn't mean to make it that long but the end it was pretty long especially with the credits and all but yeah i really did enjoy this game i definitely recommend anybody picking this up especially if you've played the original i thought this was a uh, pretty cool it had a very good story as well with the uh, aluminum pokemon and how they had like a barrier to protect from the meteorite many many years ago which you know was pretty cool honestly um, I am probably going to continue the series just a little bit longer to at least try to get um, at least the photodexes um, complete. 
Not as much with the star rankings, just like with identifying all the Pokemon at least. I'll at least do that much, and that'll probably be the end of the series. Unless you guys want me to try to get all the rankings and stuff, then if so, then I will. Um, you'll just have to mention it. You'll have to like really like this video for me to actually do that, so, you know. Or, you know, at least watch the series thoroughly. Because the thing is, also, I don't know how good the series is so far, because... As of right now, only part 3 is exporting from uh, my editing so far. <laughs> I've only done that much of uh, editing so far. I've got episodes 1 and 2 complete, and most likely they're going to be up by the time I've went to my dad's, which, obviously, I might be back by now. <laughs> I'm probably already back home, probably start working and all that, so, you know, starting to get my life together and whatnot. Uh, and I'm probably back to my original schedule. I don't know. It's probably like two months ahead by this time this video goes up, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys had a good two months of watching this whole series. For me, it's literally only been three days, but for you guys, it's probably been like, what, two months at least? <laughs> uh, the, the diversity of times when videos go up and stuff, it's, it's crazy. But anyways, I'm leaving this video pretty long right now. I'm gonna end things here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press the like button or subscribe to whatever. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time. <laughs>